in the second half? What what made it work so well? Well, I think it came down to getting some stops early on in the first half. We came out uh, really hot. Got forced them with some really tough shots. Uh, we were denying a lot of uh, them gaps a lot this entire uh, first half and second half, making their guards work for the catch. Um, but a lot, obviously, a lot of it came down to getting the post and Tyler and Luca um, getting easy baskets that way. And, uh, whenever that happens, it opens up uh, opens up a lot of guard things as well. So uh, a lot of that has to. Obviously, have to do with Tyler and Luke. You were able to, I think you had a pass late in the game. Right? You passed it to Zamat. He had the three. I think you were walking backwards. Yeah. You know, you even knew it was going in. Yeah. You know, it's something when I, when I grew up, uh, I went to this point guard academy. Um, it's, uh, his name was Coach Money. And, um, he's always, he always taught me back then, kind of looking back at my past, is I always believe in your shooters. Whenever they have that uh, possible, just run down the court, hold up a three, because you got to have that confidence in your players. Um, and that's something that we kind of still um, trying to get uh, Zay uh, keeps going is um, look for his open shots, shoot when he's open. And uh, when that when that happens, our team is flowing. And you saw that tonight. He, he was able to get going in the second half and really open up everyone's game. It seems like it really creates space for you too when they have to guard him. Yeah, definitely. And that's something I talked about. I can't remember who I talked about it with yesterday, but um, I talked about just trying to get Zay going, get his look start going, um, try to create some open shots with him because. I'm just going to start um, kind of contributing to my success on offensive end as well. So I'm going to penetrate a little more and um, get other people open. And kind of saw that tonight when he when he was going, I was able to get going a little bit too. You're up to, I think, 30 straight free throws, which is only a few away from the Iowa record, but the family record's longer, if I recall. I think your brother in Wisconsin's like a 38 or something. Yeah, like that. I, yeah I don't read it too much. Obviously, this record means a lot to the Iowa um, University. And, if I get there, I get there, like I told Chad a couple days ago, I'll have to soon, but I'm um, just concentrating on trying to win, and um, obviously that record deserves to try to stay in his name, um, but if I get there, we'll see what happens.